Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Asana to Slack in 2024. So today, we're delving into the world of integration between Asana, which is your go-to project management tool, and Slack, which is the popular messaging platform. Not the most popular, it's just a popular one. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect Asana to Slack in 2024. And let's streamline your communication and collaboration across your teams. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser this could possibly have. So the first step, of course, is to install the Sana app in your Slack workspace. You can open Slack. As an example, so go to the channel section and type slack.com, hit the enter button, and this should take you into the home screen or main screen into your account. So make sure to log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. And of course, if you're interested about the pricing, here's it. So you can pause the video and read this all by your own. For me, let's go back and launch Slack, of course. And yeah. I'll go into the workspace. So we'll have to go into open Slack and navigate to the app sections. And we'll have to search for Asana. Of course, we would like to have Asana account. So as in the meanwhile, as an example, you can go open asana.com, hit the enter button. Just go and log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. So for me, as you can see, like my free trail ended, but does not matter because I will just show you how to connect it. So here's an example on this left panel, click on more automation. And here we'll have to look for the Asana app. As you can see, we have the app right here. So just go and click on that. So click on add. And as you can see, we are on the Slack app directory. So we have Asana right here. We we'll basically have to add it, install it, and connects into our account without any problem. So let's start by the description, as you can see. With Asana and Slack integration, you can take action on tasks, rights from notification, or Asana link. You can see the task details, complete the task, change the assignee, and or do dates, add it to a project, or open it in Asana. Turn a Slack message into a task in Asana, or add the message to an existing task by using actions. Get notifications on your word, uh, work happening in Asana. You can get notifications for tasks assigned to your and for tasks you're following. You can also link a specific Asana project to a Slack channel, and the channel will receive notification when updates and changes are made to the projects. You can also create a new task in Asana without leaving Slack by typing slash Asana create into the message box. To learn more about Asana Slack, visit our guide. So if you click in here, you'll be able to visit their guide and see how everything is working on it. So for you, you can read this all by your own. I don't want to read this all because this will take forever. That's forever, but it will take a lot of time and it will make this video more and more bigger. So as you can see for the pricing, they have a free plan and pay plans available if you want to. And the supported language are English, French, German, Japanese, Portuguese, and Spanish. Any other language will not be supported. And yeah, so now you can see, of course, the features this comes with it. The permissions that this will need. So Asana will be able to view contents and view info about channels and conversations, contents and info about your workspace. And Asana will be able to perform actions in channels and conversations, perform actions in your workspace. So here in security and compliance, as you can see, you'll be able to read other information. So for me, I'll just go here and click on add to Slack. And of course, we will have to grant the permissions. So Slack is requesting permission to use Asana connect to access your Asana account. If you authorize Slack, you will give its permissions to access your name and email address, access your tasks and projects and workspace, create and modify tasks, projects, and comments on your behalf, display external data on Asana tasks. Anyone with access uh, to these tasks can see this data. So if you agree to all of that, click on allow. If you don't, click on deny, but if you click on deny, you'll not be able to connect both Asana and Slack. So for me, I'll just click on allow. And as you can see, you'll have to allow also this. So Asana will be able to view contacts and info about you, content and info about channels, conversation, content and info about your workspace. And Asana, what Asana will be able to do, perform actions in channel conversations and perform actions in the workspace. Of course, you can read more information if you just open those out. So you can pause the video and read this all by your own. 
and we'll just go here click on allow and of course you can choose even which one you want to connect this with so for me here i'll just choose my company this is just a random name and as you can see you successfully connected asana to slack yeah so check slack for messages sent from asana to continue setup you can safely close this window as you can see for me they didn't like uh, ask me to log in into my account or anything because why i'm already like logged in here so i don't have to key to log in again into my account and yeah if i go here to activity as you can see asana is already connected so as you can see in here hi asana is here to help you manage your work and make your discussions in slack actionable i will use this company which is the name of the company that i have in here or channel as your default asana domain and this is where you the task you created will be saved and you can change it later using slash asana settings who are slack teammates you would like to collaborate with in this company add your teammates and they will receive an email to join in you and asana you can add teammates simply here using the emails or their name or whatever you want if you click not now as you can see you're all set. Here are some other ways you can use Asana for Slack. You want to, if you want to create a task, you can create a task using create tasks in the message actions menu or the slash Asana creates comment command. And as you can see, you can also add message if you want to add a message to a task to an existing task in Asana as a comment using add to task in the message action menu. Notification about task. You will be notified about tasks you're assigned and following in the company. And this will keep you informed about your work and you will get them right in here in the channel on this channel toggle your notification settings using the slash asana settings command and you can link a projects link an asana projects as an example to any channel using uh, this asana link command and you'll receive a notification when tasks are added or completed and when assignees on due dates change for quick actions you can use slash asana command for uh, help use slash asana help Welcome to the new Asana Slack, of course. We hope you enjoy the uh, the new improvements Asana for Slack app. For full details, here are how to use it. You can visit this guide if you want to. And for feedback, you can share us in here. So as an example, they will give you a guide that we already showed you. So you can go through all this guide if you want to use Asana for Slack integration, link in free link action, create task, personal information, again, notification, link project notification, or even custom notification. You'll be able to see how to do it all. Just follow this guide and you will be good to go so this is going to be it for me in this video uh, or there you have it of course you successfully learned how to connect asana to slack in 2024 empowering your team to communicate collaborate and start or stay organized more effectively so if you have a question or there's a specific topic this would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible so happy collaborating and i'll see you in the next video so goodbye